guys and welcome to the April edition of my World of Wizardry Geek Gear box. This is not an unboxing, like an opening video, because I have already had a look at all of the products and I'm going to be reviewing them as I go along. Before that however, let's take a look at my Marauders map box. This here is the box which I use to collect all sorts of Harry Potter products. It has official licensed items and it has fan made products. It can be personal favourites from my Geek Gear box or it can be odds and ends that I've found around town or that I've got from conventions, all sorts of things. The first item is a 100 Galleons note and my Pops, who is from Pops with Pops, you may have seen him, he found this one when we were out walking by the beach and it cost just £1 and as you can see there's a lot of detail there, it's very nice design and it's signed by Dumbledore as well which is really cool. My next item is actually two items which go together. So these are a bracelet set for a charm bracelet. So you've got the actual bracelet itself and one charm. And I got these from my local comic book store. And these are really nice items. These are official Warner Brothers items and you can get them all in different sizes. But the sizes are actually correct with the same as Pandora. So you can actually interchange between Pandora and Warner Brothers for these two. This is the bracelet and as you can see it is a size large, which is too big for me. However, for now I'm going to be putting it in my Marauders map box and I'll be going back to the store soon in order to change it for a small. And this is the charm which I got to go with it. As you can see it is a time turner which is what Hermione uses in the third book and the third film and it's quite a nice version because it doesn't have a glass bit in the middle which means it's not going to break easily it has in fact just got some sort of glittery charms there this is the last item for my Marauders map box and I'm not going to review this one because you should be able to see a review of this one in my apologies video I'll leave a link for that video at the end of this one this is five different pins of the Harry Potter houses as well as the house crest so that's everything for my Marauders map box done and dusted. So now let's get on to my World of Wizardry box. Wow, what a load of goodies we've got here. There's some amazing stuff here. I think that this might be, I know I've said it before, but this is such a good box to have. There's so much variety. And uh, the thing was that I felt the weight of this box and I felt how light it was and I thought maybe there's more wearables in this one but then I was like no there won't be two t-shirts they wouldn't do that and they didn't but what they did do was they gave us a tie and a tie clip as well which is pretty awesome but the first item that we're going to look at is this wand because I'm sure you're all dying to see what this one was. I know that I certainly was. The first thing that you notice is that it's got the House of Black written at the bottom of it. So that left me and my husband questioning, well, he was saying that it was gonna be Bellatrix's, and I was like, no, it's gonna be Sirius's. So we opened it up, we had a look, and we researched it, because what you might have noticed is that we don't actually have a booklet with this one. I don't know whether any of you guys got a booklet with this month. Place a comment below if you did or didn't. I really want to know whether this is like a new thing that they're just not doing a booklet or if it was just mine. So you might know that Bellatrix's wand is actually quite twig-like. It looks very raw. However, this is Sirius Black's wand. That's why it's just beautiful. It's got carving all along there. It looks very sort of like like runes along that end and that's actually a square end as well. But then it's round on the tip and it's got this sort of more leaf-like rounded design to it. And I think that's really interesting. It's got these sort of two, two different styles and that sort of makes me think about how Sirius Black himself has sort of two different forms because you've got him as a man and then him in his animagus form as a dog. Um, I wonder whether his wand sort of reflects that a little bit. These are the two recipes for this month. 
As you might know, Geek Gear gives us recipes every month because a few months back they gave us a folder in order to start building up a sort of cookbook, as it were, of different things from Harry Potter, which I think is an amazing idea. And this month we're blessed with two wonderful sweet dishes, and I'm just big on the sweet stuff. So we have got a monster book cake. That is a cake in the form of the monster books, which you might remember Harry having some trouble with. And it's quite a big recipe because you've actually got several pages there. And this one is Queenie's Apple Strudel, and I'm really looking forward to that. Queenie is from Fantastic Beasts, she's a fantastic cook, and just look at that. It looks so delicious, it's making my mouth water right now just thinking about it. Here we've got a broomstick key charm, and it looks amazing. I really love the look of this. It's it's so well shaped and because it's actually metal, because it's so solid, it's not some rubber thing, they've actually been able to give it this sort of, this grace of these very thin shapes, like a real broomstick. It just looks really, really cool. I don't know whether I will be using this one because I don't want to get it scratched and also it's going to make my keys quite big to fit in my pocket, but I think that that's a really, really nice item. Geek Gear seems to be doing a really nice job on the boxes, on making everything authentic, like it's actually from the Harry Potter world. Because here we've got the quality supplies box, which is really, really nice. They've got the four houses in the background of this as well. And both of these two items in the purple are both Madame Malcolm's, which is quality robes and other wearables. Additionally, Geek Gear now has their own paper, and I don't expect for you to be able to see it because I can barely see it. But on this red paper, in very, very faintly in orange, there is actually the Geek Gear symbol on there. And then there's their black tissue paper as well, which I think is really nice. It's really strange us having a tie, because just a few weeks ago, my husband and I were talking about how the Geek Gear boxes seem to be very female geared, there was a lot of items which only women could enjoy, like necklaces and just pretty things generally. So having a tie and a tie pin sort of really gears it more over to being both males and females can enjoy this box. And that's also something that I noticed about the t-shirt designs this month. So I think that this has been a much more equal box in that sense. We opened the pin first and then we knew that the box would have to have a tie in it. We thought that the tie would probably be a house tie because there isn't actually a house specific item here. However, when we opened it, we found that, as you can see, it's just the glasses and the lightning bolt symbol, which seems to be Geek Gear's sort of main iconic symbol for representing Harry Potter. And here we've got a closer look at the pin. As you can see, it's really beautiful. It's a shame that the red paint does actually go over a little bit on mine. It's sort of gone on to the red a bit there, which is kind of sad, but it's a beautiful, simple design, it goes really well with the tie, and I think that it's a great to have a combination item. Now we'll take a quick look at the animal placemats. Here we've got the Gryffindor design for the placemat, we have in fact got four different placemats here, so that's the Gryffindor design with the lion, here we've got the Ravenclaw design, the Slytherin design as well, and the Hufflepuff. I'm going to be a bit of a house traitor now. Obviously, I'm a Gryffindor, so my favourite one should be the Gryffindor lion, but I've got to say, the Hufflepuff placemat is my favourite. I love the way that they've done the badger, he just looks so good. And here is the new t-shirt. I didn't think I liked the design that much when I first saw it, but actually when it's on, looking down at it, I really like it. What we've got here are the different Death Eater masks because each of them has a different mask, which is quite cool. They've got their own sort of individuality. It's quite interesting. Last month, or was it the month before? Not that long ago, we had one which had just a Death Eater face in the middle with these bright colours around it. It was the same time as we got our last Dobby t-shirt which had free, free Elf on it, which was great. So we had that one, and now we've got another Death Eater mask. So this seems to be sort of a new sort of t-shirt theme that Geek Gear are going along with. 
This month's pool tone print is of Hagrid and I think he's made a really good likeness of Hagrid. It looks so much like him. Also though, it doesn't seem to have that many different things on it. It seems to be very much sort of just Hagrid and H's for. Whereas in the other ones, it tends to have a little bit more in the background of things to do with them. With Luna, there was her wand and there was her quibbler pin and there was her, um, her earrings. And then with Snape, you could see all of his potions in the background as well. So this is actually very, very simplified in that sense. But the Hagrid itself is brilliant. I really like that and I really like how he's going through this alphabet of different characters. It has been a while since we've had a pull tone of print, but each of these do come hand signed. So we've got the signature at the bottom there. And they all come with his certificate of authenticity at the back as well. Our last item for today is the wanded print. And it says extremely dangerous, Macusa. So I'm not really sure who this is on about. I suppose it has to be on about Grindelwald, but I'm not really sure. I think it should have something about that in it. But what is really funny is how it says wanted instead of wanted. I think that's a really amusing touch. I really love the stylization of it, the design. I really like these sort of lithograph print sort of styles. I think that they look really nice. And just having it as the tune tones makes it look really, really good in a plain black frame as well. As always, they've made it very big. So it just barely fits in the box. And as always, a pain to get out, as you can see. And that does mean that damage does occur to the edges, which is definitely not ideal. Come on, guys, sort it out, please. The other week we had one which was actually framed and small, and that was amazing. Just do that again. Go on, you can do it. Anyways, enough of a bitch. That is the last print that we've got, the last item for today. Don't really have much to say now. <laughs> so that's it for my April World of Wizardry Geek Gear box. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And as always, thank you for watching and keep collecting.